Hello Office 365 users. In this video we are going to look at how to share a form once you've created it. You can see this form that I made in my previous video on the question types available within Office 365 forms. And now that I have set up those questions I am ready to share. Uh, in this case I have developed a quiz as opposed to a form but both things work the same way. So I'm going to come here to the share menu. And the first thing is you want to choose your authentication uh, preferences here at the top. So right now it's set to only people in my organization can respond. So classroom teachers, when your students have Office 365 accounts, if you want them to log in with those accounts, so that their name is recorded and you're able to get data specifically on individual kids, you would want to leave it checked like this. However, if you're doing a review activity and maybe the first question in your quiz is, is what is your name, and that's good enough for the data collection purposes that you are after, then the anyone with link can respond might be a good option for you. So right now I'm going to leave mine as only people in my organization can respond. If I just click the copy button here, of course this link is available in my clipboard and I can uh, post it in my learning management system. I can drop it onto a PowerPoint. I can make a shortened URL out of it, whatever my needs uh, are, however my needs are met with that URL. But you have a couple of other options here. You can allow Office 365 to create a QR code for you. Again, this is now an image that I can download and then use anywhere I want. I can post it in my learning management system, add it to a PowerPoint, whatever best suits the needs of my classroom. The third one is an embed code. So if you're using a learning management system that accepts an iframe code, uh, this would allow you to post it into your learning management system. Of course, you'll notice here that it tells you you can post it into or copy it into a web page. You can also integrate it with the with the Sway tool, which is another presentation tool from, from Office 365. Uh, but again, just like the URL, you can copy this and paste it in where needed. Last but not least, here in this toolbar, you have an email option. When you click the email, if your computer is already set up for your default email to be Outlook, then an email is generated, and the link for that email or sorry, the link for your quiz is embedded in that email. Okay, couple of more share items here. You can share your quiz or your form, either one, as a template or you can share to collaborate. If you share as a template, then possibly the person who teaches next door to you can use your quiz but collect his or her own data. So when, when uh, students in in the teacher next door in, in her class, when they take the quiz, their data would not show up with your data. It would show up in her account separate from yours. But if all of, for instance, the third grade in your building are going to take the same quiz and you want all of that data to be available together, then you could use this share to collaborate. And that way each of you can, can get responses from your individual students but all the data will be in one place and you can go and look at it together. Okay, so that's what these other two links that can be generated do for you. All right, we will come back in another video and look at settings and then also uh, some branching options that are available here in Office 365. Have a great day.